welcome back to my youtube channel so in the last video we discussed about few of the configuration that that can be applied on the toaster messages if you remember we have discussed about progress bar progress animation enable html position class title class message class and toast class properties today we will be discussing about some of the global configuration that can be set so global configuration by it means is like applying this configuration it will set a certain behavior to all the toaster messages that we show across the application and we define this global styles in the root module where we import the toaster module today we will be discussing about some new configuration like maximum open newest on top prevent duplicates and count duplicates property auto dismiss property is something which we have already discussed but let's check how it will be impacting when we apply it as global so to apply global styles in our pro uh, project we have to we have to go to the app module where we import the toaster module and give the for root so inside this we can set the global configuration by applying this all these uh, configuration that we apply here will be affected in all the toaster messages that we apply okay so let's start with the auto dismiss property so here i am applying auto dismiss to true by mentioning auto dismiss to true it will disable the toaster message once opened so it will close close automatically let's check so for the time being we will remove all the configuration that we have set in our individual components so we will remove these and we will try okay i am saving this okay now it's saved so if you see there is no close button because we have removed and the toaster messages gets closed after five seconds because the timeout for uh, automatic closure is 5000 milliseconds that we discussed in our first video so you can see the auto dismiss property which we provided it in the root app module is getting applied to all the toast messages that we show so if you see the warning message gets closed after five seconds and the error message also got closed after five seconds now we can give the timeout time okay so the timeout we i am setting to 2000 milliseconds now if you can see if you see the success message close, get closed after two seconds error message everything gets closed after two seconds since we given it globally likewise we can give the close button as well So here, if I set close button to true, then for all the messages, we will have a close button, which is which we applied globally. So now let's check some of the global uh, global properties, new properties that can be set. So we can check for the maximum opened. So here I'm setting maximum open to five. So here maximum open, uh, open property defines how many toaster messages that can be shown at a single time so i have uh, it takes a number as the argument and we can pass a number so here i have set as five so the maximum toaster message that will be displayed at one go will be five so if i click this you can see only five toaster messages can we can see at a time okay 
so this is maximum opened so let's check the second property auto dismiss we have already discussed then we can set a check for prevent duplicates so but by default it it, uh, it takes a boolean value and by default it will be false so now i am currently overriding that and i am setting it to true by doing so it will not show the duplicate messages so i am clicking the success message twice but it's not rendering each time when i click because we are preventing the duplicates so if the title and message are same then the duplicates then they are duplicates and it will be not shown so it will be shown only once okay now let's check another property count so count of duplicates so it will display uh, the number of uh, messages that are being repeated and it will the count will be displayed in a square bracket so to, to display that the prevent duplicates property must be true and also the toast message must have a title if it does not have title then the count won't be displayed so let's check that so i am copying and pasting this and i am giving count duplicates to true so it will display the count of the duplicate message getting displayed so if i click show success two times it will display a count of two if i click three times it will show three likewise okay and if you see it is getting close after two seconds even we are clicking the success message multiple times it is getting close after two seconds same is the case with information message error message and warning message hope these are clear now the last property which are we are going to dis uh, discuss is the newest on top so by default it will be true so the whichever message comes uh, uh, new means the newest message by default it will be shown at the top if we are setting that to true it will be displayed at the bottom let's check that so i'm copying and pasting this newest on top i am setting that to false the default value is true and it will take a boolean value so here i am setting that to false so if you see the error message is coming at bottom so but if i set this first i click the success then show info and the error then the order will be success the error will be displayed at the top then the info then the success let's check see the newest message comes on the top if we are setting newest on top to true if we are not giving this it will be on top the newest message will always be on top because default value is true hope hope everything is clear all the properties that we discussed the auto dismiss timeout close button which we have already discussed in the previous videos and the new properties that we learned is maximum open prevent duplicates count duplicates and used on top and if we see we have removed all the configuration here from the component individual components suppose we are setting this close button property to false here in that case it will have the highest priority so the for the success message now there won't be any close button disabled close button enabled if you see because the configuration that we set on the component level has the highest priority than that we set in the app module but for uniformity it's a good practice to have all the configuration which can be set in the root itself globally we can define all the styles so that, so that the style the behavior everything will be uniform across the application so it's better to apply all the configuration whichever possible in the root or as global configuration so hope every everyone understood this if you have any queries or doubts please put or mention this in the comment section so that I can help you out. Thank you. Thank you for watching.